This is what a million dollar Mopar looks like. Hey everyone, Paul here for Gearhead Tour. We're at the uh, Mecham Auction in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're here today checking out this one of one Hemi Cuda convertible that's gonna go across the auction block today and it's estimated that this car is gonna go through for 5.75 to somewhere around six and a half million dollars. Now by the end of this video, we're gonna know exactly how much it went for. This morning we got access to this car and got some really, really beautiful shots. We're gonna show you all that right now. We're gonna talk about the car just a little bit. So here you have it, a 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda convertible. Now, 1971 was the, the final year for the Hemi Cuda. The appearance of the car is really good. This is a really nice Survivor. It's all original. It's unrestored. This is the original paint. It's a paint code GA4, Winchester Gray Metallic. And it's got, of course, the black Hemi billboards, which look great on the car. Now, this is one of 12 Cudas ordered in 1971 with the 426 Hemi. So that already makes this car very, very rare. But add to that, only three cars were ordered with the four-speed manual transmission, and only one was ordered in this color. So what you have here is a one-of-one -one car, super rare, super valuable. Now this car is expected to go across the auction block today for somewhere around 5.75 to six and a half million dollars. Uh, we're excited to see where it ends up today. By the end of this video, we're gonna know. Now back in 2014, a Hemi Cuda convertible went through Mecham Auctions and uh, sold for 3.5 million. That remains the record today for an American muscle car. We're likely gonna see that record broken today with this original numbers matching engine and transmission car. It's got all the paperwork to back up its provenance. Now a few details about this car that make it super rare. So first of all, like I said, only 12 cars made, period. It's got a seven liter, 426 cubic inch Hemi engine. It's boasting 425 horsepower, 490 pound-feet of torque. The motor is matched up to an A833 four-speed transmission. Now again, this is one of only three cars with a manual four-speed. If you take a look inside the car, you'll see that transmission is made it up to a Hurst pistol grip shifter. Now this one was ordered with the A33 track pack option. Now that included the heavy duty Dana 60 sure grip rear differential. The track pack also included a heavy duty engine cooling system, which was a 26 inch radiator and a, and a larger uh, seven blade fan. This car has power steering and power brakes and you're gonna need them if you're trying to stop this thing because it's a big heavy car and it goes fast. A few other notable details about this car. Again, this paint color is the Winchester gray metallic. It's not exactly my favorite. Maybe I'd like to see this thing in a sublime green or a plum crazy, I'd like to see that. The cheese grater grill, they got the four headlights. Now remember, 1971 was the only year that had the four headlight option. All the other Cudas made always had two headlights, uh, one on either side. So this is another little unique thing about the 71 model. It's got a black top, we can't see it. Uh, the top is down, but it's it's got a black top, which was the uh, option code V3X. This thing has the N96 black shaker hood scoop. Uh, it's got rally wheels all around with the old Goodyear F6015 polyglass tires. And it's got, uh, of course, the front fender inserts, the cheese grater grill, the Cuda badging. It has the body color matching mirrors right there. It's got the Hemi billboards in black over top of that Winchester gray, looks really good. Chrome rocker moldings, chrome bumpers. And you can see back here on the car, it's got the rear exit exhaust, it comes right through the valance. Really, really cool, unique detail about the car. The Cuda badging on the back. Inside the car, you can see it's got the high back uh, vinyl bucket seats. I believe that was option code 86X9. Wood grain center console. I believe that was uh, Plymouth's option code C16. And that wood grain trim, you can see uh, over on the dash and then also around the, uh, the three spoke steering wheel. It's got a factory N85 tachometer. The speedometer is in kilometers rather than miles per hour since this car was shipped overseas. And uh, this one reads up to 240 kilometers per hour. If you're looking for a little comfort, it's got a six-way adjustable driver's seat. It's got power windows and it's got a power top. What you will not find in this car is a radio. This one was ordered with no radio, so that means no radio antenna on the outside of the car. Just another little thing that makes this car a little more rare than some of the others out there. So the Hemi just went across the auction block. Unfortunately, it did not sell, but we did see an amazing, amazing price bid on this car. A new record, but it was still a great experience to come and see this car today, take a good close-up look at it, and uh, we really, really had a good time today. So for Gearhead Tour, I'm Paul Rainey.